Well, that was a great workout. Just got back from Booster Juice, got my Booster Balls, and got the usual, a Rift Berry with a Power Booster. And I'm not gonna lie, today was a crazy fucking workout. Like, it was just so pain-inducing, and it was just like the trials and tribulations were stacking up, and it was a lot. There was a barrier that was in front of me, and it took so much fight just to break through that barrier, but I had to make sure that I broke through that barrier and I transcended to the next level. And that's what you constantly want to be doing. You constantly want to be evolving and going to the next level and just keep it progressing. Keep your life moving forward because that momentum is so powerful and you don't want to cheat yourself because the only person, listen, first of all, nobody's fucking watching besides your own internal voice. So if you're cheating yourself, you are slowly just declining back into that pit where you first fucking started. If you keep cheating yourself and taking shortcuts, the only person you're fucking over is yourself. So like if I went in the gym today and I didn't push past my limits and I went below them, I would be doing that the next time. My mind would be set like, okay, it's okay to cut corners. It's okay to do this, that, and the third. And I wouldn't transcend to that next level. And you constantly have to be progressing and moving to the next level in life. And that's how you succeed because life has a game-like quality to it, like Kevin Hart was saying. The more you set your mind to things, the more levels will open up and introduce themselves to you. And you need a different mindset, and you need a different dog, or just a different engine inside of you sometimes, just to break through that barrier and become that person. Like, once you transcend and break through that barrier, you're becoming a brand new person, and your perception of yourself changed, your mindset has now changed, and you're just ready to accomplish and do more in your life, and you have to keep it going like that. And yes, it's a lot of adversity, and it doesn't get any easier as time goes on, and that's why you gotta stay solely focused on your fucking purpose. Like, no fucking drinking, no fucking girls, like, all of this is stealing your energy, all of it. Going to the bar, having some drinks, this play mode that you flip on inside of your mind is stealing your energy. And listen, if you're living life like that, then you wouldn't know. But if you're solely focused on your purpose and like you really got to lock in and you're focused and like you're trying to really accomplish something, you would know that this shit will steal your energy and take you off path so fucking fast. Like that momentum, when you're really going and you're really moving and you're really fucking hitting the nail on the head and you're constantly just grinding and pushing your limits... That momentum is powerful and it can flip on a dime because if you flip your mind into play mode like this has happened to me Like I was building up so much momentum and I was doing so much with my life I was working out. I was doing fucking this that and the third I was making content like I was in it I was in the thick and thin of it and that shit's not easy to just pick up again And I started talking to this girl which sucked me back into like this play mode Oh, it's okay to like kick my feet up and relax and getting back into what I was already doing previously was fucking extremely difficult and that was one of the times where i'm like i might actually give this up and that's why you cannot divert your focus like if you want something you gotta keep your fucking head down this world offers nothing but fucking distractions and people who are trying to dull your shine that's all it fucking offers so don't look for a helping hand don't look for anybody to come and save you nobody's coming to fucking save you nobody fucking cares you got to be your own superhero and you got to fucking grind. Like literally nobody cares. You got to do it for yourself. And you will be faced with so much adversity when you do that. Because when you start off, it's you versus you. You're like, okay, I want to change my life. So let me cut out these distractions. Let me focus on the grind. And then you build that momentum. And now you got to build that discipline of, oh, this is fucking hard. I don't want to be at the gym. But you continuously keep showing up. That is you versus you. And then once you keep doing that, People are going to start laughing at you. And then once you keep doing that and you're not backing down, people will start talking about you. And once you keep doing that and keep going and building momentum, people will start trying to fight you. Mentally, they'll try to fuck you up. They'll try to talk you out of your own vision. They'll try to make you question yourself. A whole bunch of random distractions will appear on your path. Like personally for me, like a struggle for me that I'm just going to be truthful about is just females. Like they always fucking are at the gym. I'll be fucking focus pushing some heavy weight and i'm about to hit a pr it's just always at the fucking perfect time right i'm about to hit a pr i'm about to grind and for a lot of guys they'll be like oh my god yes because they fucking love temptation they fall so easy and they're just such a victim to that type of fucking shit but i know it's just a trap i know it's just the devil trying to drag me off my path by using some fucking crusty old female who's just trying to divert me away from my grind and bring me into some relaxation mode or not even that but just drain what i have she's attracted to that potential that she sees in the gym of me grinding me putting in the work and she just wants to extract that 
She just wants to be around that. And once that's gone, guaranteed she's gone too. But the reason I got there is by sacrificing and not being around females, not drinking, not doing this, that, and the third. So implementing that is not really helping me in any way, shape, or form. It's actually stopping that. But yeah, that was just like today. Like I was just feeling amazing in the gym. I was grinding. Um, and I was just hitting like PRs after PRs feeling amazing and I was just having a great workout and some chick like I had my head down and I had this new mentality fuck it just keep your head down like this world fucking block it out and that's what I was doing at the gym I was just grinding because I hate fucking going to the gym when people are there because they're always staring giving me some dirty looks because they wish they were the man that I am and I'm young and they feel jealous like that's really what it is They're fucking jealous. They're fucking angry. They're fucking whatever and I'm over here sweating and acting like I'm not gonna live tomorrow And they just fucking look at me weird and it's like what the fuck are you looking at? and it happens all the time And it can steal your energy if you really pay attention to it Not only that the females so I was working out. I was focused. I was on my grind Like I don't watch porn I'm on no fat by the way because that's also a fucking distraction Like the more you're focused on your journey the more you got to start cutting out the bullshit like, depends how fucking bad you want it, you'll do whatever, right? But yeah, I was just in the zone. And I was doing calf raises on this machine that just has pads up top. And then you kind of just lift her up and do your thing. I mean, I had my head down and there was this chick that was to my left. And she was literally looking under the pads, like looking at me. And I wasn't saying anything. I was literally just ignoring her. I was like, I am fucking working out like right now. I'm in the zone. And she wasn't budging. She was like, hey, hey, hey. And I'm like, holy fuck. Like, this is so annoying. So I lift up my headphones and I'm like, what? What do you want? And then she's like, hey, are you using this fucking thing that's way over there that I'm not even fucking close to and there's no way I'd be using it because it has nothing to do with legs? Like, it was a box jump thing that was way over there and clearly she just wanted to talk to me. And I'm like, holy fuck. Put back on my headphones and my focus was like broken. And that's why I hate going to the gym when it's fucking packed because you got these NPCs that can fucking say something and I'll like knock you off path. So, but you got to stay focused. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, everything in this world is meant to really, I believe, divert you from your focus. Like, just look at the system. Look how it's designed. Like, your phone is fucking riddled with distractions. Pornhub is fucking free. Feeding into their lower self like no tomorrow. And all of it's just making you a shell version of who you are. As a man, you need that adversity. You need that challenge. You need that will inside of you. Or else you ain't gonna be satisfied. Like, if you're not growing, you're fucking dying. If you're not moving forward... You're fucking dying as a man. And also for a female as well. But I know, like, it feels amazing to just continuously keep progressing. But as you do, the levels get harder and harder and harder. And you need to focus and focus and focus and focus even more, or you're just going to fall. Because it gets harder and harder and harder and harder. So maybe that's what's up with me. I'm just advancing. And I need to cut out literally everything just to keep advancing. Because it's getting harder and more challenging. And literally anything that doesn't add value in my life has got to go. But yeah, that's what I'm praying for. Just any person who doesn't add value in my life, they've got to go. And I just pray to keep progressing and advancing in life. But yeah, the reason I say don't look for a helping hand is because you'll start to realize like when you're actually trying to better yourself and do more things with your life that your environment to some degree is against you. Even your family will be against you when you start out. And it's not like they got some malicious intent to like hurt you or like bring you back down. It depends which family you stem from, honestly. But it just boils down to they're used to you being a certain person. In their eyes, this is who they envision you as. And once you go below that, it's like, okay, what's wrong? Can I help you? And when you go above that, it's like, oh, that's weird. That's uncomfortable. Why is he doing that? Now they start doing some self-reflection. Like, I got to change myself. But like, if you don't budge, and you don't listen to the naysayers and you keep doing you, you will start to inspire people. You can inspire your own family to change. Like a lot of the times they're like, why the fuck are you going to the gym six days a week? Or are you, are you on steroids, this, that, and the third? And like, why are you doing that? Why are you canceling on vacations? And why are you just going to the gym? But the more you keep pushing towards that path, the more you'll inspire them. And the negative comments that they may throw at you will start to be like, hmm. Maybe I can also do that as well because my brother is fucking going out in the world and he's doing that. And it will motivate them after a while. Now, when it comes to your environment, a lot of the motherfuckers in this planet just want to control you. That's what it boils down to. They want to control you. They're egos. They're fragile. They're weak people. And they want control of you. And when they can't get that, like this could be people in your family. This could be friends. This could be whoever the fuck. And when they can't control you, it really just lights a fuel under their ass. And they just feel so i don't know they just feel some type of way and the more you just keep going and the more you don't budge you'll start to see them like spiraling and just start acting weird and it's like they'll try to 
do whatever to come for you. And once you just keep pushing, don't budge, don't listen, follow the vision that God has given you, and you just keep moving in that direction and building that mental fortitude. That's why the gym is so fucking helpful because you're doing something that you don't want to do. And when you keep showing up and when you keep breaking limits, you take that energy and you transfer it into life and to different aspects of your life. And you just become unstoppable. And when you show up to life like that, knowing that the world's against you, but you're still going out there to win and break your own limits and become great. When you move forward like that, nothing can stop you. And after a while, once they realize they can't control you, they'll start to fear you. And they'll try to like slow you down. They'll literally try everything. They'll try to slow you down. They'll try to make you question yourself. They won't give credit to anything that you do. Everything that you do, you're cheating. You took some shortcut. Oh, he's lucky. They'll try to discredit everything you do. And that's just the game. That's the way it goes. But don't get discouraged. Just keep pushing forward and make yourself fucking proud. You know what I mean? Because your mom doesn't have the life force energy to go and conquer the world and set us all free. You know what I mean? Like, I'm young. I got that energy. And I can really do that if I put my mind to it. I can do that for my mom, but she can't do that for me. And so I got to be that person. I got to carry that fucking weight. And I just got to do more. And that's what I'm here to do. Do more. Become more. But yeah, I don't give a fuck who you are. Like, when I first started this shit, I was awkward. I was a loser. I just felt uncomfortable in my own skin. But the more you prove to yourself and the more you just continuously keep showing up, facing that adversity and breaking your limits, like you will become the person that you always wanted to be. And nobody can stop that after a while. And also like going through traumatic experiences, all the failures, the setbacks are just a good rear view mirror. It's just something to look back at. Like, holy fuck, I fell so many times. Holy fuck, I fell flat on my face so many fucking times. Like, holy fuck, I've been through so much fucking pain, so much adversity, like all this shit fucking sucks. And that is amazing because when you go through so many experiences like that, you never want to return to that fucking place. So when you actually take steps to become great and you continuously move forward, and people try to bring you back to that place, the more traumatic it was, the more painful it was, the more times you were in that pit and you felt that pain and the failures and all of that, the more you'll be like, fuck that. I'm moving forward regardless of what the fuck happens. And that's the mindset you need because you will be faced with a lot of things that will try to stop you. And that's the game of life. It's all up to you. If you're not stopping, if you want more, you're going to get more. And if you can face the next level and not give up, then you're going to go to the next level. But if you do, then you're going back to that place. And depending how bad that place was for you, you're never going to want to return there no matter what. So pushing forward and feeling the pain for today to get the glory tomorrow is fucking worth it each and every single time because you feel good about yourself instead of just, ah, I gave up. I feel regret. Like It's just two types of hard. Moving forward breaking your limits and going to the next level and always showing up each and every single day and putting in the work is fucking hard. Some days it's harder than others because you got your environment against you. You got yourself against you. You could have everything against you, but you just got to keep fucking pushing and it gets hard, but you just got to keep fucking pushing or you could give up, live a life full of regret and go back to that place. Like both of these things are hard. You just got to choose your heart. And honestly, I would rather choose this fucking one right here. No matter how fucking hard it gets, no matter what I got to sacrifice, no matter how much it takes for me, how much energy it takes, I don't give a fuck. I'm going right here and I'm going to change something. I'm going to change my environment. I'm going to bring myself out of my environment to a better environment. I'm going to inspire my old environment and be inspired by my new environment. I'm going to make my mom proud. I'm going to make my family proud and I'm actually going to change the trajectory of my family fucking tree because I'm sacrificing everything and that's how it is like jesus he sacrificed himself for the betterment of others right and that could be you like if you put in the work if you're disciplined and you're grinding and you're being that pillar that strength for your family or your friends and you're setting an example with your actions and you keep showing up and you're just motivating you're inspiring you're that person you're a real fucking man you're sacrificing everybody around you will benefit from that energy that you carry because it sets an example of oh well he's doing it so i could do it and the more you fucking do the more time you put in the more you sacrifice the more they'll reflect back to themselves and be like well i can do it as well but uh, yeah this is a great fucking talk look at these arms crazy but uh, yeah i love you guys um, I got work tomorrow, so I'm trying to utilize all this fucking time that I have by making videos, TikToks, Instagram reels. And just shout out to everybody who's watching them. 
I know a lot of people get weirded out when you're supporting someone new. Just because you don't know where they're going to go. But I promise you, I'm the future. And why is that? Because I am.